Hello there. In this video, let's discuss the importance of sanitation in catering establishments. Sanitation is a word that is derived from the Latin word sanitas, which means health. So in food industry, sanitation refers to the creating and maintenance of hygienic and healthful conditions. Now, you might have heard of other definitions of sanitation, especially with respect to microbiology or microbiological labs. But in the food industry, sanitation is when you create a state of cleanliness and then maintain healthful conditions so that safe food can be served. Now, it's not just mere cleanliness. It is much more than that. There may be a surface which looks free of dust or dirt, but then that surface may have microorganisms or chemicals on it, which make the food unsafe. So we need to ensure that there is absolutely nothing on the surface and that is what will make the food safe. Now, when we talk about sanitation practices, it mainly refers to the environment in which the food is being prepared or served. So, it refers to the hygienic plant design. It refers to the specific chemicals that have to be used. Not only that, even the concentrations of the chemicals which are approved for each of the processes or the, you know, the hands of the food handlers need to be clean. It includes the cooking equipment, it talks about the storage conditions, it talks about the preparation area. All of these aspects are included under food sanitation and its operations. But why do we talk about food sanitation? Why is it so important? The first reason being safe food. We need to ensure food safety. Fewer number of pathogens should be present in the food because if the pathogens are more and people regularly fall ill, you are risking the health of the population. That again can have a you know, a global impact. So we need to make sure that the pathogens are fewer. We provide safe food at every instance possible. There should not be cross-contamination, not only between raw food or raw meat and cooked food or ready-to-serve food. We should avoid cross-contamination even between allergenic and non-allergenic food. So no kind of mixing, no kind of cross-contamination should occur. And for that, sanitation is very, very crucial. The second reason is for maintenance of equipment. Regular sanitation has, you know, if we conduct regular sanitary procedures, the equipments which need fixing or if there's any potentially hazardous conditions that are present, for example, there could be a chipped wall or the floors could be chipped or there could be broken glass. All these can be fixed. The equipment can be maintained in good condition if sanitary procedures are followed regularly. It also is required for the safety of food handlers. It's not just the customers, even the people who handle the food, they should be prevented from accidents. So if sanitary procedures are followed, it will ensure that accidents are reduced. It will ensure that the handlers don't fall sick often. Lastly, for the reputation of the establishment, it could be a hotel, it could be a restaurant, it could be a catering uh, service, but for the reputation or it could be even a food industry for the reputation of this industry we have to maintain sanitary practices because one outbreak is enough to ruin the reputation of that establishment so everybody who's involved all the people need to understand that and ensure hygienic practices at the workplace as well as their self-hygiene to make sure that the sanitation you know rules the sanitary regulations are being followed for example not washing a chopping board or cross-contaminating a knife, such simple things, such small things are enough to jeopardize a client's health. And there are lots of audits and hygiene ratings that are being put up by public and authorities. So if something goes wrong, a lawsuit can be filed against the industry and lawsuits are very expensive. So we need to take care of these regulations so that we don't end up in lawsuits and the reputation of the establishment is also being maintained. These are the reasons why sanitary procedures need to be in place in every food industry. So let's look at some of the common sanitary practices that are being utilized. The first one is correct hand washing. Now, there is no maximum number of times that we can talk about the importance of hand washing. It's very, very important. It is important not only to be done frequently, but also in the correct way. What does that mean? It means that at least 20 seconds we need to wash our hands. Only then the hands are free of microorganisms. And it's not just with water. It's with hot water and soap. So as per the recommendations, as per the condition in which we are, we need to make sure that hand washing is being done frequently. For example, if a person uses a bathroom, then after that hand washing should be done. If the person is throwing out waste, 
hand washing needs to be done if the person has handled raw meat or raw poultry then before he touches he or she touches the salads or other uh, food which are ready to eat they need to wash their hands so there are multiple stages at which we need to do hand washing in the correct manner secondly making sure that the food contact surfaces are cleaned and sanitized how do we do that we have to first remove all the food debris anything that is any kind of dirt or spills need to be cleaned from that surface need to be wiped or removed from that surface rinse the surface with hot water and then apply some sort of chemicals sanitize that area and allow that area to or allow that surface to remain wet with the sanitizer so that the sanitizer can work its action what sanitizers are normally used either chlorine solutions at a concentration of 50 to 100 ppm or quaternary ammonium salts at a maximum concentration of 200 ppm so these are some of the common sanitizers or sanitizing solutions that are used for cleaning the food contact surfaces third thing is the proper storage and labeling of foods and tools why is that important because it avoids the use of allergenic foods when we are preparing allergen free meals it makes sure that those who are having allergies are you know if you label everything properly at least those who are having allergies will not be coming in contact with the allergenic food so it needs to be made made sure that we label the foods correctly we store them in the proper way so that no kind of cross contamination can occur lastly the maintenance of equipment equipment which is regularly cleaned and you know protected from food contaminations can be used for a longer period of time like the grinders or the the um, uh, the vessels the ladles everything needs to be maintained in the correct manner so that if because if there's some kind of food left over if you don't clean it well if you don't maintain it well and there's food left over these food leftovers can actually cause rust so if we ensure that the equipment is being maintained we can use the equipment for a longer period as well not only does it keep the food safe it also helps us in using the equipment for a longer period of time so these are some of the practices which are in place in the food industry sanitation practices i hope this video was useful to all of you see you all in the next one as well thank you